we want to solve the following multi-step linear equation. And for reference, I have the steps here below in red. The main goal in solving a linear equation is to isolate the variable on one side of the equation or one side of the equal sign. Looking at our equation, the first step is going to be to eliminate the parentheses by distributing the four. So we'll have four times three x minus four times seven equals negative forty-four. Well, four times three x would be twelve x minus four times seven would be twenty-eight. So we have twelve x minus twenty-eight equals negative forty-four. Notice how we only have one variable term and it's on the left side. So our goal is to isolate the variable x on the left. To do this, we have to undo the subtraction and since twelve x means twelve times x, we'll also have to undo this multiplication. But we always want to undo the addition or subtraction before we undo any multiplication or division. So to undo minus twenty-eight, we'll perform the opposite operation to both sides of the equation. Well, the opposite of minus twenty-eight would be plus twenty-eight. So we'll add twenty-eight to both sides of the equation. Notice on the left side, Notice on the left side we have minus twenty-eight plus twenty-eight. That would simplify to zero. So now on the left we have twelve x, so that's progress, equals, and here we have negative forty-four plus twenty-eight, which would be negative sixteen. And just to refresh your memory, remember we're adding integers with different signs. So we want to subtract the smaller absolute value from the larger absolute value, which means we would have forty-four minus twenty-eight, well, this would be sixteen, but since negative forty-four had the larger absolute value, this sum is going to be negative. And that should make sense because you can see here the negative forty-four is going to outweigh the positive twenty-eight, resulting in a negative sum. And then again, our last step is to undo this multiplication, so we'll have to divide both sides by positive twelve. Twelve divided by twelve is equal to one, and one times x is x, so now we've isolated x. And on the right side we have negative sixteen twelfths as our solution, but this does simplify. Let's take a look at that. These both share a common factor of four. We can write sixteen as four times four, and twelve as four times three. We can see the common factor of four here and here. So our solution in simplest form would be negative four thirds. which means if we replace x with negative four-thirds in the original equation, it should make this equation true or satisfy the equation. Let's go ahead and take a moment and check that. We're going to rewrite the given equation replacing x with negative four-thirds. So we have four times the quantity three times negative four-thirds minus seven equals negative forty-four. So we'll simplify inside the parentheses first we can think of this as three over one. Notice how these threes would simplify to one. So we actually just have negative four minus seven in the parentheses. Well that would be four times negative eleven equals negative forty-four. And that's good news because four times negative eleven is negative forty-four, which does verify our solution is correct. We'll be looking at more examples in the next video. I hope you found this helpful.